Oklahoma's won six consecutive Big 12 titles. Our FPI says they've got a good chance to do it again. The Sooners have an 89% chance to reach the championship and a 68% chance to win their seventh straight title. There's turnover at Texas. Steve Sarkeesian takes the reins this season. Sark helped Alabama break the school record for points in back-to-back -back seasons. But no Texas coach has won more than nine games in their debut. And then the surprise of last season, Iowa State, 8-1 and one in conference play and reached the title game. Under Matt Campbell, the Cyclones have finished with a winning record in Big 12 play in four of the last five seasons, something they did just once before he arrived. And Iowa State head coach Matt Campbell joins us now on SportsCenter. And coach, I don't want to alarm you, but the secret is out. Iowa State football is real and on the Big 12 map. How do you manage now the expectations you've built there in Ames? Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. You know, I, I think for us, you know, we, we've learned a lot as we've grown. You know, this is a football program over the last, you know, four years that have found ways to have success and has grown with expectations. And, you know, I think the thing that we've grown and, and as we've learned is really we're, we're certainly outcome aware, but we're purpose and process driven. And I think the ability for us to kind of push our ego aside get better one day at a time and become the best version of ourselves. That's all we can ask ourselves. And coaches and players, we've really rallied around that. It's allowed us to have success. And you mentioned the egos because with that, I mean, you've got key pieces returning everywhere. Eight of your nine first team all Big 12 players are coming back. That includes Brock Purdy, the quarterback, Brees Hall, the talented running back. So as a coach, you've got experience. How do you adjust your conversations with players when you know that that kind of experience is coming back? Well, I, I think what's great about football and especially college football and it's such a unique sport where you're only playing 12 guaranteed games every year is success is really found in the moments. And I think it's our preparation and our ability to become the best version of ourselves. And so when you have some of that leadership back, um, you, you, you bring awareness to it of where you had success and maybe where you had failures in the past. And, you know, what I love about this team is since January, mentally, physically and in their craft, they've really went to work and been able to say, here's where my shortcomings are and here's where I have to go to get better. And collectively as a team, we've worked at those same things. So uh, really proud of our coaches and certainly our players and the growth we've made this off season. You know, coach, we had talked before your game against Texas at the end of last season. And during our call, you had, you had said, you know, we're not getting five-star recruits. We've got a five-star culture. That line ended up getting out and, and got national attention explain what that five-star culture is at Iowa State. Yeah, you know, for us, I, I think it really just comes down to two things. It becomes a, it comes down to creating a, a, a place where great trust resonates through our hallways. And I think that's hard to find. That's an easy word to say. And, you know, that trust has got to go from player to player, player to coach, coach to coach, and coach to player. And then number two, I think it's about relationships. It's about really caring about people. And, you know, one thing we say is, is young people and really people in general don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And, you know, we've really just kind of built on those two anchors in our program. And um, I, I'm really proud to say we haven't drifted from that. And if you're going to build on that, history is against you. You guys have never won 10 games in a season. So how does the 2021 team change that? Well, I think the 2021 team becomes the best version of itself as, as it continues to hold on to the anchor of we have to get better. We have to be willing to grow. And, you know, I, I think we learned a lot a year ago through, you know, the uniqueness of last football season is, man, keep it simple. Man, continue to have and create great relationships and be willing to grow through tough and trying times. And I think any football season brings all those challenges ahead. And so we look forward with this group and these seniors to tackle those great, great challenges ahead of us. You know, Iowa State fans are going to be furious that I ask you this question. But with success, your name is going to come up for head coaching jobs around the country, be it at one of the larger programs in college football. And you've had overtures from the NFL. So, Matt, why have you turned down NFL jobs to remain at Iowa State? Yeah, you know, I, I think for me, um, you know, that it's such a great question. And, I, you know, really from day one that I've been here, my number one sole focus has been in our players, our coaches, 
you know, our fan base and really the future of our football program. And I, I really have always believed that, man, you, you're either one of two people. You're either you're either the person that's trying to be somebody else or you're the person that's trying to do something. And, you know, for me, I got into coaching because I love to coach. I love to be involved and see a young 18-year-old um, come into our program and leave as a 22-year-old man ready to become the best version of himself he can be. So, you know, for me, we've been able to create that and we've been able to hang on to those anchors of trust and 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 really build a program and so I, I think to me that's really all I've ever worried about and really all I've spent my time about is, is our program and building it the right way.